Today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best mods I have ever seen for Kerbal Space Program. Certainly the best Starship mod. Although I don't think it's totally accurate to call it just one mod. It's more a collection of mods that come together to create the most realistic and best looking Starship for KSP. I'm going to start off by giving you guys some information about it. Then we're going to go ahead and do some fun stuff that like try to catch it, try to do some hops, try to do some landings, and totally not bet money on it. Well, that doesn't happen. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. First off, let's have a look at what this mod actually is. So the primary mod you need to get is the Cow Space Starship. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, this mod is created by someone called uh, Cow Space, who is uh, mostly known for creating Starship animations like this one. Uh, this is his first ever KSP mod, and it is probably the most detailed mod I have ever seen in KSP. Super good looking. But the caveat to that is that it does not fly very well. This problem can be rectified quite easily, though, by going into the files and turning the power of the reaction wheels way up. You know, modding the mod, I guess. Um, um, despite being insanely good, though, uh, Cow Space Starship is still very much under development. The mod only includes the ship, so no booster, and uh, also doesn't come with any engines. Um, so this is where the multiple mods comes into play. Um, you could always just use the stock vector engine, but if you want something that really feels like Raptor, you need to download the cryo engines and waterfall mods to complete the experience. Tundra Exploration and Textures Unlimited are also required. Uh, tundra to make the flaps work, and Textures Unlimited to make the ship look all nice and shiny. Starship Launch Expansion by Sam Sigood14, I think. <laughs> uh, and Fossilized Mechazilla are also two mods I would also recommend getting, um, so you can have a nice launch tower and chopsticks for your epic starship. All right, now it's time to try flying this thing. I'm gonna do a 10 kilometer hop, but there is a catch. If I crash, I have to pay my friend $10. All right, so here we are on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship. We have the Starship all set up, all ready to go for its maiden epic hop. Awesome. We have all these cool camera setups. We can you know, have a look at some of the views. While we're going to be flying, we have one of these really cool engine cameras. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. Who's ready to go? Three, two, one. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look, look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. That is majestic. We are going to be heading on up two tiny climbers, then coming back down on top of the drone. We're going to be doing a pinpoint beautiful landing. I am going to actually have a target on it because once we get above two and a half kilometers, it's going to come out of physics range, and then we'll have to rely on that little square there to know exactly where it is. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get up to that altitude. But I'm going to be uh, firing the uh, all three of the engines for about another 30 to 45 seconds, and then I'm going to be switching down to two engines, and this is it's where it gets really cool. So here we are. We're going to get ready to cut one of the engines right about now. Oh, look at that. Oh, brother, would you look? That is so cool. That is so cool. That is just the best. That, that, like, it actually looks almost exactly like, I mean, real life, it's actually a little more violent. They, they swivel a little bit more. But that's, like, like, exactly what happens. Like, the one that turns off will pivot away, and then the other two that stay on have to kind of correct. It's, it's so good. Once you get to nine kilometers, I'm going to turn off the next engine. Okay, and nine kilometers. There it goes. Okay, so now we're only burning a single engine. And we're going to try and level it off at just around 10 kilometers. I'm not perfect, so I can't really get it just right every time. But I think we're going to overshoot just a tiny bit. But you're actually just about to level off here. About 10,100 kilometers. So giving it a little bit of gas here. We are basically perfectly level. If you look at our vertical speed, we're going down just a little bit. But what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to turn on our flaps. I'm going to kick it a little bit and off. As beautiful. That's beautiful. While well, Starship Billy Pops, I want to quickly mention that if you are enjoying the video, please do consider being like these awesome people and becoming a channel member, patron, or think about picking up some merch. It would really mean a lot if you do, so uh, thank you in advance. Uh, I also thought I'd mention this one last time, but I know some people running a survey for a fast food company. I've promoted this a few times before, but it only takes about five minutes to fill out, and some of you have said some really, really dumb stuff in it, so, you know, feel free to pause the video and, and read through them.
All right, looks like we have overshot just a little bit. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a 180 here and try and line her back up. Looking good, like so. We are just about to pass our two and a half kilometers in altitude, so we should be entering physics range very, very shortly, which should be, there we go. We can see it a lot easier now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that little square, and we're just gonna come in just like this. Just like this. It really likes to roll for some reason. I'm not sure. Whatever. There's one kilometer. And engines. Tuck in the flaps. And flip. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to turn off one engine. I'm going to go ahead and deploy the landing legs. We are looking real good. Real good. Just got to come in. Just got to not crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Yes. Beautiful. Boom. I get to keep my money. No way. All right. This time, we still have a starship sitting on the path. But we also have a tower and a pair of catch arms. I think you know where this is going. Let's go ahead and let's get this thing in the air. Love that shot. Such a good shot. All right. Or even, even this one too, like there's uh, this one. Beautiful. All right, but let's go ahead and get up to altitude and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a little, little bit of a hop hip on top of the tower and see if we can go ahead and catch it. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna be putting money on this because I'm definitely not gonna get this in my first, well, probably 100 tries. So there'll, there'll be plenty, plenty of bloopers to watch um, if you want to. This is another really cool thing is when I like go and turn off the engines, that, that, that actually like the gimbal is perfect. Like watch, and off. Look at that, the ship, like, the ship barely moves. That's, like, that's crazy impressive, that, that, that the gimbling on the, uh, and KSP is actually able to keep up with that. That's probably, like, an SAS thing. Like, I never really compliment SAS. Like, well, GG, SAS, you know? You, you, you did it good. You did it good. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and level off here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the flaps, hit the power, tip it, cut. Oh. Or even, uh, there's one over here. Look at this one. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. I also have one over uh, right by this flap. You can actually see the camera right here. There it is. It's so stable. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, we have the tower in sight. And just kind of maneuver it a little bit over towards the tower. We're a tiny bit far away, but that's we can, we can adjust for that. Um, we had about one kilometer. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the flip right now. Flip. Oh, a little bit of an over flip, but that's all right. Just get her stable. I'm not gonna be pulling in the top flaps because we actually need to land on those. Gonna be turning off one engine. Now we gotta bring her in, bring her in. Now basically what the strategy is is to kind of hover it right next to the arms and then fly forward and then make the catch. That's at least the plan here. So give it a little bit of gas to kind of level it out. And then forward. Ah! Oh, what's with that collision? Oh. Yay. Cut. Oh! Power, 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 power. Ah, we're clipping the side. That wasn't perfectly lined up. This might be the one. Cut. Yes! There she is. Oh, that looks so cool with this. Oh, look at that. Hallelujah.